Hi Water Signs, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, welcome back to my channel and thank you for being here for your weekend tarot reading. We'll see what's coming up for you in this coming weekend. What are the messages? It's going to be more intuitive, so we'll just go with the flow and see what comes up. But before I begin, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. Uh, and also, if you did want to become a channel member, you will get access to member-only content on the channel. Um, Otherwise, for private readings, please email me. I am currently accepting those. Let's get into this and see. Let's lay out some cards for Cancer Pisces Scorpio and um, see what's coming up here. Okay, Pisces, you've come up. Cancer, you've come up here as well. We've got Virgo. Virgo energy. Okay, there's a very powerful connection. You've got the King and the Queen of Swords. Okay, it tells me that a lot of you are either talking to someone or will be talking to someone very soon. Uh, and it's someone that's going to give you this Ace of Pentacles. So I'm seeing a new start. This is either the start of a new relationship or you're possibly getting back in touch with someone that may be under a Cancer, Pisces or Virgo. I mean, we do have two air signs. Can be Aquarius, Gemini, Libra as well. But I feel like the Queen and the King of Swords, the power, power couple, I feel like there's a huge understanding that's going to take place. I feel like you have had a tower moment with this person, uh, or I feel like there's been something, There's I'm getting like devastation. So you might be devastated here, uh, water signs. There's something that I feel like you built up with someone. It might be this person, this, this Queen or this King, uh, and it didn't go the way you wanted to. But I feel like you're going to talk things out. I feel like you're solving some issues here. I don't know what this tower card was. It might have been a discretion. It could have been, you know, a, a breakup. It could have been... It's, it's something that sort of temporarily sort of separated you. And it might have been like a heated argument. And you got quite emotionally like... Uh, how do I say this? Mm, you got like emotionally, like, you know, p pent up about it. There's a lot of like pent up frustration here. So you obviously got like an emotionally charged situation here, but I feel like I'm seeing you working things out and talking over things. And I feel like with the Ace of Pentacles, I feel like you're going to clear the air um, and you're going to come to some sort of understanding because the Queen and the King of Swords understand each other. They're really like the power couple. Uh, and I feel like the way you communicate with each other is super, super powerful because it's like, because communication is coming up so strong, I feel it's your ability for the both of you to understand each other and get on a level playing field. So I feel like you're going to, I see you talking through some issues and working things out with this person. Uh, and I feel like this is really good. The Hermit's ruled by the planet of mercury so we've got the god of communication here so this is why i feel like there may be some important messages or conversations that may come up you know something that's quite sensitive to talk about i feel like it needs to needs to happen though and i feel like you're gonna you're gonna come to this understanding uh, and i feel like you've thought about this before so it's probably like not the first time but the way you're going to deal in it deal with it this time is so so much more better so so much healthier and different that it looks promising feel like you're going to be in a happy place here so i feel like that's that's coming up um cancer you've got a new start i feel you've got a new start maybe with an earth sign you have virgo could be a capricorn or a taurus here as well um it could be i feel like it's a divine feminine divine masculine connection here and it's someone you'll want to overcome some dramas with that you might have had before but there's definitely a new chapter here um, Pisces, I feel like some of you might be wanting to take time away and that's going to give you that understanding. So I feel like Pisces, your next, uh, you've got the hermit here below. So I'm wondering if Pisces, some of you are moving away from a person here or wanting to be single, not, you know, not wanting to do uh, tolerate any BS anymore, maybe, uh, with this person, you know, maybe it's just, it's too much BS, too much to handle. <laughs> right now um in this current energy okay what's this queen and king of swords let's clarify why are they here 
Okay, it's an opportunity to strengthen your connection. Um, I feel like it's something about the past or something you've been blindsided before. You've come up as the Six of Cups. Okay, so it could be about the past. Some of you have like, if you're in this new connection with someone and like maybe they got jealous about your past somehow, like how many people you've slept with or um, your ex, you know, your ex might be really attractive or they still message you or whatever. And then like for them, it's like, they want to, you're going to be working through some issues about the past. Uh, and I feel like it's some insecurities that someone has and they're going to bring it up. They might see that your ex is still calling you um, or they might just get jealous about the people that you've been with. You know, it's an opportunity to strengthen and solidify your connection. It's Leo energy. So I get a sense of going to be jealous, jealous about your past. And then you're going to work through that. That's why the King of Swords is here. It's about clearing the air. I don't know, maybe you haven't spoken about a past relationship before and this person's interested. And they're going to say, you know, how come you never talk about your ex? Or how come you never do this? Or, you know, let's 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 work through this. So look at it as an opportunity to make things right with your person and to clear the air. Because they're having some insecurities. They're possibly making things up in their head with the Knight of Swords, you know, um, it's almost like you've, you've thought about it in passing or you've spoken about it very quickly and they probably weren't satisfied with the answers they were getting from you. So I feel like there is there is now opportunity to clear the air with this person and come to an understanding. Um, and if you're able to do that, it's going to strengthen your connection. But I do feel like someone maybe started to get possessive about you um, and that's why they're jealous about your past. You know, There might be something that you've done that they haven't. Maybe you've been more adventurous. Maybe you've been with more people. Uh, you know, and I feel like they may be getting jealous about that. Uh, what's the outcome? What's the outcome of this? Okay, we've got the sun and the judgment card. Judgment's reversed. There may be, there may be some judgment. Okay, some judging that happens. This person may judge you about what they find out. And, and as you sort of work through that and come to an understanding... Um, but judgment's reversed, so I feel like I'm, I'm getting that they're still quite biased about this or it's still going to bug them. And you probably don't see it like they do. You know, maybe your attachment style is different or you have different insecurities. But I feel like they're going to be more open, which is good with the Sun card. But I feel like there may be some emotional immaturity that comes from this. Um, and I feel like they may judge you. They may judge you harshly and they'll say it. You know, I don't think they're going to hide it. They may... They may open up and be like, okay, well, you know, they may be snarky. Like they'll say something snarky again, fueled out of jealousy. Um, but I feel like with the, with the sun card, at least it's going to be out there. So they'll no longer feel through this conversation and through you reassuring them, they'll no longer feel like, okay, well now... You know, this water sign's hide that they're no longer hiding something from me. So they're going to feel like everything's out there in the air, in the open. Uh, and from their side as well, they may be sharing things with you that they've been uncomfortable about. Um, so, you know, if that's coming up in the cards, as long as everything's out there, I think that's probably healthy. It's better to know than not know and then wonder. Like, that'll just drive you crazy. So maybe this is it's a good thing. Okay, let's look at this new start. Ace of Pentacles. What's this new start coming up? This new relationship, new beginning. Okay, lots of earth energy. Nine of Cups. This person's going to make you very happy. Okay, uh, there is... I really feel it's an earth sign. Okay, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. It might be someone you meet through work or through money. Uh, and I feel like with the Nine of Cups, this person's going to be a dream come true. They could be very wealthy. They could know people in a lot of different connections. Um, they could be very successful. They're very ambitious and money-driven. Could be someone younger than you with the Page of Pentacles, or it's in its early stages now. So you might have been talking, you might have been flirting. Some sort of interaction or exchange has happened between you and them already. But they're everything you want, water signs. Literally, they literally tick all the boxes. They are good looking. They've got heart. Um, they're loyal. Uh, you know, they don't cheat. They don't look at anyone else. They are fair. Uh, they earn their own money. They make their own way in life. They are attractive. You know, they're just, they've got everything. Like it's, 
next to impossible to get anything better. So you've got some something really powerful and it can make you really happy. Uh, they might want to be serious quite soon though. I'm getting Ace of Pentacles with the Page of Pentacles. This is like an introduction. So this person might want to introduce you to their family and friends fairly soon. Seven of Pentacles, I see that this person's at a point in their life where they're wanting more in their life, like moving in, wanting kids, remarriage, marriage. I feel like with these cards, I feel like this is someone quite serious. They may be younger. One of you is younger than the other. But I feel like they're wanting they're wanting more in their life. They're wanting a lot. I think if you're in the right energy, you could give it to them. But I feel like they're serious. Let's have a look at the outcome part of this connection. What's the outcome of this Ace of Pentacles? Okay, Five of Cups and the Lovers. Okay, so you could end up with this person. The Lovers is you're dealing with a soulmate or a twin flame. Beautiful. Lovers is Gemini. Some of you may end up with this Gemini. Um, or the Lovers could indicate you end up married or engaged or together. But I'm also seeing loss. There's love and there's loss. So you could have... It's like, you know what I get with this energy water signs? It's like, you'll have this relationship. When you have this relationship, you'll have it all. Like, you'll have uh, good intimacy. You'll have love. This person's going to look after you. Um, there's going to be good communication. They'll always want to see you. They'll want to talk to you. They'll give, they'll give everything they've got to you here with the lover's card. And that when you're with them, you're going to feel on top of the world. Like, nothing else matters or nothing else compares. But then there's a, it's like when you lose... When you lose this person, the outcome is you may lose this relationship. And if you do, I see you pretty down and pretty depressed. Okay. Some of you may resort to drinking. Like this is drinking to excess. We see the spilt drinks. It's like when you have the relationship, when you have this relationship, it's beautiful. It's amazing. When you don't, it sucks. Like you're sad. You're depressed. Life is just not the same. Like... So be careful here because this person could give you could give it all to you and then you'll lose it. So right now I feel like the outcome is 50-50 chance of love and um, having this relationship with this person and ending up together. Um, and I feel like there's also the chance of loss. Okay, loss with the five of cups is like losing something. And like I said, if it's this twin flame soulmate relationship, it's behind you here. So it, you'll put this relationship behind you and potentially move on. Uh, let's look at the advice here for you. Uh, water signs. This could be more for a Cancer or a Pisces. Okay. So... Either way, Ace of Cups is telling me there is a new beginning coming your way. I feel like with the Ace of Cups, I do see a lot of you in love. Um, the Ace of Cups is telling me that there is opportunity or there will be opportunity around you here, but it's not going to be an easy one because the Five of Wands is here. So I feel like there is an Ace that God or the universe or spirit is going to offer you like through a person or through a connection. But with the Five of Wands, it's like this is this connection is hard to get to. So I'm sensing like there's a lot of hoops you'll have to jump through to get to this person or there's a lot of things you, you and them will both have to do to be together a lot of sacrifices because i'm seeing dysfunction um the advice here is be careful what other people tell you there may be people that mean well and that want the best for you and that sort of are outside of this 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 new person or this connection and they'll be like you know you should do this and you should be with them or you should move on or you should move in or you should get them back or you should um Find that new person. A lot of people are going to give you conflicting advice, but at the end of the day, you need to remember what your heart wants with that ace. It's all about your emotions and where your happiness is. You know where you're truly happy. You know where you want your 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 love to go. So I think that's the message. That's just a gentle reminder here for you, water signs. So I'm going to leave it there. Thank you, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Have a wonderful weekend. And until next time, ciao for now.